Yes, I wear high heels. I enjoy wearing high heels the most now. I think I think the idea was always very fun growing up and and even when I started dancing I saw professionals in heels so I thought oh like I'm gonna be professional I'm gonna dance in heels there were times where heels were a bit scary and painful but as of right now I love wearing heels I was trained in 10 dance international ballrooms, so Latin and standard, and I began when I was around eight. So I already was wearing little heels for Latin. I started off with Latin and then grew into standard. And as I didn't think twice because I noticed these are the shoes that I have to wear to dance, and luckily I, I just started on heels, so there was no question, you know? And then later on I began standard dancing, uh, waltz, tango, quick step, box shot, I think those kinds of dances. And there's a lot of heel toe in standard, whereas in Latin you have to go through the ball of your foot. So you're already used to kind of being on the tips of your toes, or not the tips, but the balls of your heels. And then standard, it took, it was, it was challenging to do it like a heel toe with heels. And that was, it, it didn't stun. I feel like it, it made me much stronger, but the beginning of learning to dance standard in heels was frustrating. With Zook Expression, we, um, there, it, it's, it's fairly new. So you, you find, I feel like a lot of people when they began were dancing in flats. And in Zook, it wasn't a technique-based competitive art. It was a social dance. So like, it doesn't really matter what you look like as long as you're following, essentially. And so in the beginning, I had a very interesting time. I started dancing with flats to be more comfortable, to find my balance, switching onto heels, and I found it challenging to start dancing in heels. But as of right now, you know, growing strength in your body and getting used to heels, there, I prefer dancing in heels. I feel more sexy when I'm dancing in heels. I feel more feminine when I'm dancing in my heels, absolutely. I found with ballroom that there's an emphasis on women and their legs and just us being drilled about that and like how to look good in heels and how, you know, to, to the main focus, the primary focus is our legs. And for men, it was less about drilling their footwork, foot technique, and more about the upper body and how to make it a more masculine movement. So already we're kind of divided. Men have, men's focus is the upper body, women are our legs, and it's, with ballroom, how in heels, right? And then Zook is really interesting because um, when ballroom men have kind of have a, a heel, they dance in that Latin heel. Zook, no. Zook, they like barefoot or flats or sneakers or really anything. With with Zook, there, there's a lack of there's they, no one really cares about a man's feet, I, as I can see. It's just about like the lead and follow, which is super important. I most important in Zook, I think. I know that because of ballroom, my main focus in Zook is absolute following, being a great follow, being able to lead, breathe, and use my body. But as of right now, like I, I, my ballroom trickles in, and it's like legs. Are you using your legs? Is your foot pointed? There's a focus on my legs, and you know, and just more feminine movement. I stumbled upon a Zook video because I was interested in Brazilian culture, la la, and I was like, oh my god, that's how I have to move. And then I got back into dance, and it was like a part of me was missing, and I and I re reopened or found it again. It was like Zook became my boyfriend. It was like some, something so exciting. If I missed a social, it was like a catastrophe. And I guess that pause from ballroom made me realize like how much I need the movement. And Zook really provided a space that went beyond. I would say that ballroom is standardized. Now like the competition is introduced, shows are introduced, so there's a certain level and standard that people are expecting. There's more of a focus. Um, but I, I, I limited in a sense that it, you know, for me, I'm, it was my first like love. So I'm always gonna have a major appreciation for the technique and like, eh. and I think what makes people really good is when they find something new within this like, res not restricted area, but within this 
or limited space we call ballroom. Zook, on the other hand, is just, you know, not anything pretty much goes, and it's very beautiful. I have love for them both. I take my some of my ballroom training and, and bring it to Zook, and it allows me to further, like, expand on that and go against the rules. It was super interesting dancing with you in heels because I, most of the time I wasn't paying attention that, to that. I forgot. But we were able to connect and help each other and I'm sure you felt a strain because it's something very foreign to your body but most of the time I felt like I was taken care of I felt like I was taking care of me and like it just it, the connection was there was no less of a connection when you wore heels and it wasn't even about the heels at all you know I think that we just like it's so ingrained in us that something's off something's missing you can't be macho if you do XYZ and I think we challenged that and like for me it was accomplished. I was like, you absolutely can be like look at what you're doing to me. You're so masculine, you know?